Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Crosswords Live. I'm here today with my uh, solving partner, Sam Mazursky. Welcome back, Sam. Good to be here. And we have a very special guest today. You've seen her on Westworld, where she's played Elsie Hughes and a bunch of other things. Uh, we'd like to extend a very, very warm welcome to our guest, Shannon Woodward. Hi, Shannon. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, we are very excited to have you here because you are quite a good solver, as I understand it. I wouldn't like you to oversell that right before we sell the puzzle. <laughs> of the puzzle. But, um, I do solve every day. You know, now I'm having some solving anxiety. No, don't be anxious. Don't man. worry. We're here, We're here to have fun. Solve. That's <laughs> that our too. motto. Tell us, you said you had been solving uh, from a pretty young age. Tell us when you picked it up. Yeah, I started doing it when I was about 16 on my own. When I was a little kid, my mom and my grandmother used to do it all the time. And they were like, I'd be like, I want to help. And they're like, sure. I mean, you can take a look. But I really, I, to me, that was like being Same a grown up was you could do the crossword puzzle. That's yeah. That's great. I actually turned to my kids for <clears throat> help on certain things like video game characters and stuff. Um, That's how I got into solving. Yeah. Because I just get parents. asked the baseball and the Star Wars clues. So. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Sam's Sam's my sports guy. I got to go. Yes. You can cover all those for me here. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> um, and you are part of a group that solves out in LA. You have a bunch yeah. of friends? Can yeah. It's kind of a ragtag group of pals that kind of all work out here in Los Angeles. We randomly found each other and because uh, people would be like, oh, you do the crossword? You know, I know somebody else who does the crossword. Right. <laughs> Eventually, we started kind of doing it in in a group. A couple times a year, we get together and solve together. Oh, it's it's always... really nerdy. It's fun. <laughs> I love that. I, I think it's better when you solve, solve with other people. I think it's a lot more fun. Um, yeah. Well, we're, we're going to solve a puzzle together. And uh, if you are listening, please click on the puzzle to... Uh, come through and uh, so you can leave your comments uh, for us. If you have a guess as to an answer, please leave it in the comments and Shannon is going to get us started. Shannon, where did you start with this puzzle? Um, yeah, so I, I kind of solved about half of the puzzle while we were waiting to start. Um, I started with, you know, five across was the blank witch project. Right. So that's, that's really in my wheelhouse. So I went ahead and so five across is Blair and right. that's where Blair I Witch Project, very well known film. Right off to the races. There's always gonna be yeah. a fill in the blank that you know, you know? Well that's a nice thing. Uh, you know, Thursday, this this one I think a lot of people on wordplay and, and Shannon, you had mentioned it too, it wasn't a, a difficult puzzle, but I think the theme is very cute and people are, are really gonna appreciate it. There's some interesting wordplay there. Um, where where'd you go from there? Uh, I mean, I think from there, I usually, I'll look directly to 10 across and complimentary robe providers. I was like, well, that's either inns or spas. Right. So I went and dropped the S at the end and then I checked Blair Witch Project again and I saw blank a date is it's a date. So I went ahead and put that in. And then I'm, ah, I, go after I pretty much, I like to scan pretty quickly for all of the fill in the blanks things. And that really kind of gets me started. Right. That's, I think those that, are usually and, the ones that your brain fills in the information. Yeah. And also then I saw like, you know, three down is Aladdin alter ego. Whenever I see anything like that, that has like a character name, I'm like, yeah. so that's <laughs> Prince Ali. Yeah. Right. There's another <laughs> Aladdin character at uh, 16 across as is well. There? Yeah. I saw that. Oh, yeah. Can never uh, have too much Aladdin in the right, puzzle. Right. Exactly. And yeah, there's... Uh, I, I appreciate the fact that they put the word literary in there. Otherwise, I might not have known it because I, I didn't really see a Latin. I know. I'm, I'm you know, poor me. This is not supposed to be sad. We're supposed to be We're having a good time. We're supposed to be having a good time, yes. <laughs> now I have to go watch Aladdin. So who, who is the lat literary villain in uh, Aladdin? I actually don't know. I wanted to say, it was is it? Jafar, but it doesn't fit. It, so I wasn't sure. Well, it, it's a, it, if it was this was Rebus, we could make it fit. But the fact I, is, it's not a Rebus today. But that's okay because what would you do if you could, if you really didn't know the name? Like I'm terrible with names. I'm great with pop culture, but when it comes to people's names, I'm not very good. What do you do in order to figure it out? Well, I usually just leave it for a bit, and then I just try to fill in the rest of it. 
Okay, so um, you and work the crossings? Yeah, yeah, usually. And also, I would then, like, the half of the puzzle that I did was the northwest and the southeast corner ah. is pretty and so I left these other two unfinished to kind of do with you guys. But also, mostly, I left this side because I was like, uh, I don't know what that Aladdin character is, but also I will know it in five minutes, so yes. I'll just... Yeah. yeah. So patience is key. We've also, I mean, I've got guesses from solvers coming in, as well okay. as questions, Shannon. I might have to interject yes. at some point. Um, it's going to be Iago at 16 yeah, across. Be, there you go. And that's, that's the David. literary thing. Somebody is asking if the audio can be uh, adjusted. I think I think our evil genius, Garrett Amini, is he's working gonna, on he's that. He's on it. He's handling um, it. We, you've, got, um, you've got some fangirling here. Is that Sabrina from Raising Hope? I missed the <laughs> intro from Nicole Xavier 111. Oh, there you go. Um, yes, it is. This uh, is uh, we, we're solving with Shannon Woodward today, and we are very happy about that. Yay, puzzle people. Yes. We also have a question from Sam Tegan, which is, does the West Coast group do it in the evening? Solve these puzzles yeah, together? Often. Yeah. Oh, can't wait that long, wow. can you? And uh, do they do it the night, you know, the uh, online puzzles come out the night before. Yeah. Um, here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You're so lucky. You get it so That's great. You early. get it early. I often, especially like end of the week, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. I print it out and like I often go to dinner by myself and just solve oh. a puzzle. That sounds so luxurious. I That's know. the life, really. <laughs> it really does. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little jealous. Uh, and you get the Sundays <laughs> that come out at three on Saturdays. Oh my goodness! So you can okay. just do rip off two puzzles on the same day. Uh, EDW David says one down is GPA. Oh, let's take a look yeah, at that. It is. Yeah. Zero point zero to four point zero sounds like it to me. Across Olympic sport discontinued after 1936 is polo. Which, yep. 14 which, across. Oh, 14 across. Okay. That's the one. Across. Yep. Today I learned. Today I learned, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, that's one of those educated guesses, you know. We had half of it in there. Alpine Joy, Alpine Joy has a question. Oh, for us. Uh -oh. Um, how much in the future um, Deb and Sam have to do, do Deb and Sam have to do the puzzles in advance? Two weeks? A month? No, oh, no. We're, no, we're no. not quite we, that prepared. We operate by the skin of our teeth here. <laughs> um, I also don't solve quickly. them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam, Sam is uh, the associate editor, so he works on the puzzles with Will Shorts and Joel Fagliano. Uh, I'm the columnist and the senior editor for Workplace, so in order to write the columns, I have to file them in advance so they can be copy edited. So I would say I usually get the puzzles about a week in advance. Yes. But that's it. It really is. And then I just. But when do you put my actually solve them, Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to solve them? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, so, uh, and who is Do you want to go to. Jo Josh. Joshua who? Joshua who on first says Iago is in Shakespeare's Othello. That's right. Thank who, you. Who actually isn't on first in this puzzle? Who's actually at 42 across? <laughs> I, I, exactly. I made that joke in the column. Oh, really? Okay. I should the read your column. The person in question. Now, uh, one of us should. That would make one. <laughs> uh, the person in question. Now, what do you do when you see a question mark clue, Shannon? Um, well, I, I usually think of it it's a, as a pun, you know, like, for example, Oreo is always in the puzzle, and I'm always, like, it's it's clued in a billion different ways. It yep. always me, like, whenever I, I think of Oreo clues all the time, like, this morning I was thinking of, it's like, milk accessory, question mark, you know? Oh, God, send them to us. Please, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, ta we'll take them. We desperately, yes. desperately, Shannon, we need new clues for Oreo. I, I we actually have a Mark okay, there we go. go. Thank you. It. Thank okay. you. We'll cite you. <laughs> so we have... Uh, Do you want to go to five down? Wait, we, we, the person in question, we have to finish oh. that. <laughs> yeah. Interesting one. Um, because it's a, a question, we'd ha it would have to be either who, what, when, where, why, how. But it's the but person. It's the person, so this would be who. That's a fresh clue. Mm -hmm. You want to you want to jump to five down? I'm getting guesses from Bruce Giordano, okay. L. Euler, M. E., and many others. Ah, uh, okay. Backyard B gatherings for short. BBQs. There we go. Shannon's yeah. got us. Very good. We're moving. Exactly. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna tear this. One we also, apart. I mean, we talk about a, you know sometimes names are just gimmies for people. They may yes. as well be fill in the blanks. If you want to go to fifty five across, Deb, um, is Missy there? as in Missy Elliott. Oh yes, that was the, that was one that I knew. Did you know that one, Shannon? I did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I also love Fifty Five Down. Oh yeah. Uninspired. This one, on the other hand, is always fun to clue. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. 
meh. <laughs> There's so Very many good. different ways to clue that one. One of the <laughs> things I really like about clues like uh, Grammy winner Elliot is they're almost like fill in the blanks. They're the kind of uh, things where you don't even need to have the, the blank there because your brain will fill in that missing information, which is missing one of the information. I yes. missing missing sorry, information. Sorry, sorry, that's all. It's okay. Um, we have guesses for bow two. Two words at 15 across, right below Blair. Oh, Alpine from... Joy, that's very sweet. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 52 what? 15 across, right 15. below Blair. Blair. Oh, there we go. Greet respectfully. Yeah, that's a weird one. It is. But yes, it is bow to. Wow. Yeah, yes, that's, that's you kind of can't get much more say. respectable than that. Yeah. Okay. The, the weirdest one for me was six down. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this answer like, very that's much. That's a word. Yeah. Didn't know. Well, yeah, I figured if you can soften, you could probably louden. Yeah, you could louden. Yeah. No, of course. I'll be loud, using that in my everyday vocabulary. We don't louden very often here, but, you know, we, we you could do that. Um, but look at this. We've almost finished this sector. Oh, here. my gosh. Let's here's... See if we can crank this one out. Astonishment's got to be off. What do we got here? Indian oh. flatbreads. See, now, now, now you're in my neighborhood. Rotis. P- pouring yeah. down says that Loudon is right in the Embiggen family. That's and right. We'll leave it yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Kathy O has 46 down, crossing the eye of Missy. Uh, okay. Film director wow. with a co starring role in Inglorious Bastards. See, I didn't know this one. You got that? I was going to say, Shannon's go. got that one on Shan- Shannon's. This, this, you're my zone. You can handle sports, but I'll get all the film in. There Sweet. You go. Cla- <laughs> that's, that's the best part about solving together is that yeah. everybody's got their wheelhouses. Right. Two heads are, you know, we almost make one good brain, as we and say. That's now. right. Uh, let's see. Where, where else did you go, Shannon, with this? Uh, from, from where? From, uh... From anywhere. anywhere. You said you solved the Northwest and the the Southeast. Yeah, so, uh, well then, uh, you know, 60 across, I actually got from, well, okay, Uh, 50 down, verbal shrug. 50 down. Is that meh? Yeah. (laughs) No, verbal shrug is I don't know. Yeah, wow. We got that, it's I don't know. Oh, very That's good. a tough one because, so, you know, you have the idea and you never know exactly what to put in, but no, so you, you don't. just crushed it. So and so you could probably get this one. We've all, It's only one letter left. Manipulative sort. It's an Uber. Yes. Mm-hmm. It'll manipulate you wherever you want to go. Yeah. Well, it takes all my money. <laughs> That's got to be user. user. And look at this, Shannon. We've got a, an entry here that ends in SD. That's very unusual. Let's take a look uh, at the clue. Ah, war vets affliction for short. PTSD. Exactly. That's that's the kind of thing I would go after. You look just at because that because of the odd combination. Yeah, of I was gonna. You look at that pattern. It's either that or uh, RISD. RISD. So right, which is a lot. It's not less RISD. Likely. Okay. We've got. Let's see. What other guesses are coming in? Um, honey six oh four is back with us. Hello, honey. Hi, honey. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Alpine Joy's cracking okay. jokes, sending rim Bruce shot Bruce Giordano's just cranking yeah, through this Bruce, puzzle. Bruce, how's it going, man? Yeah. Um, we've got um, 30 down, thirty across is un-PC. According to it Bruce? Is. According to Bruce. Oopsie. Whoa, let's Sorry not go there. Uh, we have the N there as the there second letter, go. so it looks Potentially cromulent. Offend- <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're just oh, playing was... cromulent bingo. It's a, it's a thing that we do. Uh, um, we say cromulent every stream. At some point it comes PC. up. PC. Sometimes more than once. Yeah, probably. Okay. Kathy O's got us with the, uh, Ross Trudeau, what's good, man? Ross hey. actually, Ross, you actually just found out about this an hour ago because I was <laughs> late on the payment request. You okay. have uh, next Tuesday's puzzle. Um, so congrats. This is a constructor is, joining Ross us in the thread. Ross has comments about what you're wearing. Yeah, <laughs> he's just at least to... wear a collar to work, exactly. hippie. You're right. I'm sorry, man. What That's can I okay. do? That's okay. He usually, you're usually dressed <laughs> yeah, very spunky. That's right. I'm Shannon's, really, I'm being put Shannon's to representing. Be- Look at that. Yeah, I get distracted you, by a yellow highlighting. I crosswords. do too. What does that usually mean to you, Shannon? Yellow highlighting? We were talking about a theme answer, my dude. That's right. That's right. We're not going to spoil it just yet. But we are uh, going to take a look at the fact that we have four theme answers, and this 60 across is a revealer. And we know that because it's got that ellipsis, uh, which is followed by or a hint to the answers to four different things, those those things. And it's, I'm sorry, I'm going to try to say this without stumbling. Big clay court event. 
uh, mm -hmm. or a hint to the answer. So we're going to find out what that is. Uh, we were, where were we going with this? <laughs> Let's see. Um, <laughs> Ross Trudeau says it's going to twos his Tuesday puzzle, which in, in crossword Twitter speak means it's going to be a really bad puzzle. I find uh, that hard to believe. I don't think um, so. Bruce Giordano says UCLA at 28 down. 28 down. And this is squarely in Sam's wheelhouse. But this, this is, isn't about Sam. This is Sam. definitely something I would, I would turn, to, turn to you for. UCLA? While we're talking about theme here, I mean, mm -hmm. I imagine, Shannon, you must do this too. When you have enough letters... And like some of the longest acrosses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, do you want to go to 17 across, Deb? Sure. We have 17. so many letters ah, there. Look at that. So, invitation to connect on social media. Yeah. We're talking about a friend request, right? We but are. There's not but enough space. It's not, yeah, not only that, but it starts <sighs> with an A. That's got to like be. A me request. It does. Um, it, or it am does I a, request? Am I request? Uh, that's a silly question. Well, can we, yeah, it that's, really doesn't make any sense. I really tend not to. You know what? Let's come back to that. We're, we're going to get Can we there. go to two down? We could. Okay, Shannon. How often do you, do you and your fellow actor friends talk about being numbed? Um, being eaten? Yes. Yeah, we get nom, nom, nom. <laughs> nom, nom. Uh, well... I yeah, just thought that was interesting. News slang. Yes. A nom. nom. They usually it, use, it's like, yeah, it seems like in the, like the media, people call them noms. I think if someone said it in IRL, I might be like, you need to take a walk, sir. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but in Hollywood Reporter, it's okay. Exactly. <laughs> or Variety. Okay. <laughs> well, that gives us pretty much one across, which people have been calling out, a tiny nuisance, GNA, Gnat. No. It's a gannet. That's right. Gannet. <laughs> like ganache. Uh, uh, what's four down? I mean, that looks that, like a word we we're know. We're almost there, to, but you no. know, um, okay. Sam Teagan has a question for Shannon. What sets have you been on that have been the most crossword curious? Most crossword curious? I mean, uh, you know, there's, a, I don't know if it, different sets, it, it's, all kinds of people, if you do a crossword in public, every once in a while, you know, people come up and they're like, one of the funniest things is like, if I do it in public, a lot of times like waiters would be like, let me know if you need help. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> go away. <laughs> Martha Plimpton's great at the crossword. Oh, wow. You know, she's a native New Yorker, not that, that has anything to do with it, but you're exposed to it. Right. Um, right. You know, a lot of people are into it. Like Westworld didn't really sit down much, so I didn't do the puzzle on set that much so i don't know I that mean, sounds exhausting <laughs> um what uh so have you converted anybody is what we want to know I converted anybody you know i don't know i don't know that i have directly i think maybe people are like if shannon can do it then anybody <laughs> oh come on oh. <laughs> You're crushing these this puzzles, is, and though. This is, this is a woman who, who like, whips through a Saturday. I was going to so. say, it's, it's very <laughs> it's intimidating. Time invested, you know? It, I, yeah. I tell people it's just like learning a language, you mm -hmm. know? Once you learn how it, what, what certain things mean, then you can just accelerate there. That's what, for, there for all you solvers, plus one, first of all. Big, exactly. big, big plus exactly. one. Big upvote. Uh, we always say on wordplay, I mean... All these crosswords are. I mean, there's a little bit of trivia here and there. You have your wheelhouses, but it's just following mm -hmm. what the clues are telling you to do. Exactly. So, and understanding that, it's almost like breaking a code. You know, yes. if you understand what the clues are telling you to do, because they're worded very, very carefully, and they are written a certain way to lead you to the answer. <laughs> the, believe it or not, the constructors and the editors want you to solve the puzzle. They don't want you to be stumped D Despite by a clue like destroyer, destroyer, right, right here, which, yeah, like, which I mean, what, what does that mind? even mean? Boom. You know? <laughs> it will blow the destroyer up. But yes. obviously, if you're going to destroy a destroyer, you're going to do it you're with gonna a torpedo. You're going to use a torpedo. Yes, exactly. and thankfully everything interlocks. We have four letters there. It yeah. wasn't too hard. Right? No, that wasn't you know. bad. Uh, how about LAX listing? <laughs> when you land at LAX, what are you looking for when you are when you want to take off? Well, it's it's either an ETA or an ETD, so right. I always put ET blank when this yeah. comes up. exactly. Know? So we got to check our crosser. That's I mean, right. Now, this was funny. <sighs> a musician's better half. Um, 
It's not past tense. If I put a D in there, for example, that would lead us to believe that the entry is past tense. And the, we know that if the clue is past tense, the entry has to be past tense. But if the clue is present tense, like musicians better half, then we can't have a past tense clue. They have to match in terms of part of speech. So I'm going to say that we prob this is probably going to be an A. Mm -hmm. Try it. Right. Why I not? It's a good guess. So if a musician's better half, usually you're referring to a spouse mm -hmm. uh, or a partner. Um, it's kind of hokey, but that's what it means. And uh, But because we have that question mark there, it's it's going to be the side and of, a, of an album, and this would be side A. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, P Pouring Down says hipsters disagree. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. And then we, let's, um, you know, and if we weren't even sure about that, because that's a hard clue to dissect, um, we can, you know, keep filling around the area. I've got guesses for uh, 29 across right below Ooh, from um, okay. M.A. Clegg. Hello, M.A. Clegg. Um, unlike Bryn Mawr College is right. co-ed. I didn't realize they were still co-ed. Did you know hey, that? Well, I learned un that in unlike. Boston. Yes, exactly. Today I learned. Um, we that's one of the things I like a lot about Crossword Shannon is that you can walk away from a puzzle knowing something that you didn't know before. As I say in every last one of these streams, I beat it to death. <laughs> the best thing about one of my favorite things about solving the crossword is you always learn something new. Yep. I hope even on a Monday. Now, uh, Kelly two o one two o seven four five says twenty three across is lyric. There's a bit of a lag to our stream, so some people are a little bit behind us. And that is um, for twenty three across. That's a that's a really good guess. Cromulent. It's a very cromulent guess. The um, it fits. A lyric is definitely something that has to do with musicians, but it doesn't. It just doesn't quite fit with the crosses. Well, it doesn't. It's not. Well, that there's that, <laughs> but it also doesn't quite answer the clue, and that's really what we're going for. Something that directly answers the clue, even though there's a question mark there and it's a little stretchy. Um, the musician's better half. A lyric wouldn't really make much sense in that, but it's okay. I'm really glad that you put your guess there because. That's what the delete key is for. That's what your pencil eraser is for. You don't have to worry about making a mistake. You can always change something, it. Something, something about, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Exactly. So uh, that with crosswords. Right. <laughs> um, however okay. you say it. Uh, Beehive Burglary, Kathy O, and a few others earlier. These guesses are pouring in. Thank you all. 24 down. Um, okay. 24 down. Uh, it's column style is right. ionic. Exactly. How, how up are you on your co column style, Shannon? Uh, literally not at all, but I had okay. finished this bit while we were talking here, and I know 23 down. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. You know, and then... Well, tell um, us what 23 down is. It's it's scuffed. Okay. Uh, Wonderful. You your little shoe. Right. <laughs> um, so, and so then that brings you to 32 across, 32. which is not yet delivered. Right. Which starts with an U, so I went with unborn. Very good. Ooh. Excellent. Look at you go. Crushing then, this thing. You know, 43 Network Monitoring Agency is the FCC. Right. I can't tell you how many different guesses I got. I took to get that one before I landed on FCC. Yeah, I've, I've heard a lot about the FCC mostly because they come up a lot when you're working on television shows and sure. things you can't and can't say. Right. And, and sometimes people get edgy and then they get sued <laughs> after years, And I've heard about that. And right. But, but we love you, FCC. <laughs> Yes. Well, please don't take us off the air. The uh, We uh, have to do that now, at least once yeah. per uh, I I stream. like this clue only because I just love this word. I love the word conniption. What is a good synonym for that? Uh, bit. Very good. Excellent. Now, I really thought that this clue, 25 down, was going to be dedicated to me because for a long time it was, I'm sorry, the first three letters were deb. But mm -hmm. apparently we have... Deb's crossword column. Deb's, column. yes, Blog. Ex something. Uh, but it, the clue is certain legislative limit. What uh, what kind of limits can you think of, Shannon? That's the Deb T ceiling. 
Seb, it is dedicated to you. This is great. <laughs> Thank you. That's how you. That's how you're supposed but to it's pronounce a, this. But it's a. It's yes. It's the Deb T ceiling or the debt ceiling. Yeah. However you want to pronounce it. Beehive burglary is back and agrees. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to get. I've got a question first from uh, Kathy O. Saying, Shannon, do you do the crossword in pen, pencil, or uh, online? That's the question. Always in pen. Whew. Oh, and wow. And I have to say, it's not a flex. It's because I like, I, I feel like as a grown-up, it's particularly like what I do for a living, I don't get to write on paper that often anymore. Right. You know, I'm always using my phone or the computer. And so particularly like I usually do the crossword in the morning or at night the night before, like over dinner or something. And there's something kind of like romantic about being able to write on the paper. And frankly, pencils don't feel good to me. So that's that's why I do it. That's where I was going to go. Thank yep. you. I just I get a little skeeved out writing with pencil, especially in in the magazine paper. I don't know why. It's just a little weird for me. Well, it's just because I know I'm going to have to make eraser marks, and I'm just going to rip up the page. Yes. Because well, I'm definitely going to have to. A erase. long time ago, when I started making puzzles, I was working on graph paper with pencils, and it would just be a massive thing of smudges and erasers and blood that was really, <laughs> really yeah uh and tears so i can't forget got, the tears. got another question from ah. um, some youtube user m garrett amini saying question never for shannon him. never heard of him do you have any pets and can i see can them I see? <laughs> and, and did they say can you can see i them? see them yes. yes yeah they're all the totally other... spontaneous question now <laughs> shannon I've I've got a dog and a cat and another dog visiting today. Oh. So they're all like in the other part of the house so they don't, you know, run all over this computer while I'm trying to chat. But right. I can see if I can wrangle one before the end. Sure. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Just putting it in the back of your mind. Um, <laughs> Alpine Joy solves in crayon, apparently. Okay. <laughs> um, Sam Teagan says pencil and magazine is definitely nails yeah. on the chalkboard. Nails on chalkboard. It's tough. It doesn't mean you should give up on it. And if you're if you're not bothered by it, that's perfectly fine or cromulent. Yes. Thank you. What is that for? That's three, Kathy. Three? She's keeping track. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Beehive Burglary says that 30 down is unto. Ooh. And we have half those letters, which is Let's nice. See. Ah, there we are. Woe unto them. I like that. Okay. Yep. There's always you just some filled it right thing. in. Boom. Yeah. So... Just, you know, to take a step back, I think we've kind of danced around that somehow we were right about 17 across being yeah. am I request. Right. Which makes absolutely no sense. But it's not, is it, Sam? I, you tell me. Well, we have picked up a racket once or twice, but I wouldn't say I play tennis. That's good. <laughs> That's good enough. You're about at my level then. Um, the it reveal... about tennis. Say it again. <laughs> I've read books about tennis, memoirs of people who, who are tennis players. So I did know this answer pretty good. Quickly. Enough. <laughs> that, good enough. Good enough. We're there. Um, the revealer clue for those of you who are just getting started is something that is often in a puzzle later in the week, or it could be midweek, I guess. Uh, and it's meant to give you a hint to the theme set, which are the generally the longer clues in the puzzle. Um, this clue is big clay court event. Say that five times fast, no. please. But, or a hint to the answers 17, 26, 40, and 52 across. Now, I'm getting, from clay court, I'm getting tennis from this, Shannon. Um, I think that you had said before that 17 across, we, we're saying am I request, but we're just kidding. You had said ami request. Ami. Now, yeah. We know that an invitation to connect on social media is a friend request. You had said that as well. So why does it say a me request? It says a me request because 60 across is French open. Oh, oh, look at that. There we go. There we, whoopsie. There we go. <laughs> so big, the big clay court event is the friend. Oh, well, let me skip Because, over. you guys, ben. a me is the French word for a friend. Yes. So it is a friend request. It is it's a friend 17 request. Across. It's just the <clears> first <throat> word, the opening to this the um, theme entry is in French. It's French open. And this is how crossword constructors, those crazy, crazy twisted constructors, people. think sick, twisted yes. people can confirm. Exactly. Come up with <laughs> some of the most ridiculous ideas. But it's a really nice catch. I think it's great to know that you can take those, take a very common phrase, 
do something really ghastly to it and <laughs> turn it into something really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, and then... Uh, and make your heads a, explode. Up, Thank you, Nicole. Come up with a nickname for it, which is French Open or The yes. Revealer. So, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> G Intel 1 says yeah. weird. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're weird, not wrong. Weird. Alpine Joyce says, vive la France. Right. And Beehive uh, Burglary says, oh, definitely my wheelhouse. Um, I yes, say yes. that sarcastically. I'm awful at French. Will Shorts laughs at me because yeah. all I do is look at the French in the grid and butcher the pronunciation. It's Sam, so. I got to say, Will Shorts laughs at me is such a flex. Yes, <laughs> it is. Uh-huh. I like guess, really sorry. That's, 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 but that's okay. Boy, Sam's the most I can to, do. Sam's allowed to flex because <laughs> he really works very closely with Will. Um, so let's keep going. A lot of people are talking about French. By the way, today's puzzle and today's column is dedicated to my friend Matt Bai, who is a political <laughs> columnist. And we actually call these uh, entries and clues with French and M buys on the wordplay column because he gets unreasonably upset whenever there is yeah Ooh, Ooh, no finished. we like that sound that's oh, the, uh, look that's, at you shannon Yay. that's impressive that's all right um Just that is that's our that's our san jose strut which is the sound of the puzzle being finished in yeah. the new york times crossword. exactly a- uh anyway today's puzzle was full of buys uh because matt by happens to get unreasonably upset whenever there's a foreign language in the puzzle and for oh, some reason most on. of his ire seems to be reserved for french i don't know why <laughs> but he's a very very smart man and he's otherwise very very balanced Okay, let's work on some of these theme entries. Sport requiring a toe. We know that the first word has to be French. Yeah, we do. And I think also 10 and 11 down there, like 10 down is is sign in. Okay, to register. Very nice. Sign in. And then what? Hit me with 11 down. 11 down, splitting up is parting ways. Sad. Two eyes next to each other there in the 26 across, and that's where I got that, that answer. That's from. how you got it. Because you generally are not going to see an entry with Party two eyes. <laughs> By the way, I'm oh, I'm sorry. interrupting you because um our uh, Craig has chimed in okay. to say hi. So hey. this is great. Craig Mason is air writer and producer of Chernobyl. HBO's Hello, Craig. Chernobyl. This is great. Hi, Craig. Puzzle, Part, we're, yeah, part we're of the coming, puzzle squad. Part of the puzzle squad. We're coming for you too, Craig. I just want you <laughs> to know like that. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and Dave Itzkoff, too. Uh, so we we were wondering about complimentary robe providers. Uh, sh- do you have it now, Shannon? Do I, Complimentary robe providers? Yeah, because we've got SP blank S. And it was either inns or it was spas. So at oh, 10 wait. across, robe I, which number was it? Ten that across. Was ten across. Sorry You're about good. that. You're good. It's Oz. Okay. Craig says hi. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Craig. Uh, Steffi on the court, Shannon. That's Steffi Graf. There you go. Tennessee. Craig, go ahead and throw a uh, guess in the comments. There you go. You uh, saw. I know you've solved. This, <laughs> we Craig. know you've solved this one. Uh, solved this ready? Minutes, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Josh. Joshua who? Joshua, or who, how? Uh, says ten right. across the spas. He agrees with yes. that. Yes, and we also we do. Let's break open twenty six across with that double oh. I blend, and we know it starts with French. It's a sport. It is. It's a sport. Well, I the only sport I know of that has two eyes back to back is skiing. Just the way I say it is a uh, skiing. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not a bellyache, Sam. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to pronounce. But we French do know here. that really it's bad. it's a French word. It's water. Water skiing. Yeah. So and, what? And O E A U is water. O is the word for water. So instead of water skiing, which you definitely need a tow rope for, uh, we're we're putting we're substituting uh, f- the French word for the first word in in a common phrase, and the answer would be O skiing, as in um. And also we have a me request. So that's two. We got two more. Right, when what? You write, you're right. Say it again. I said you're darn right, Deb. When you write, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is why they pay me the medium sized bucks. So uh, let's see. How, what else uh, do we have here? Craig's grokked uh, twenty six across as well. Originally thought the sport requiring a toe is getting towed. Uh, 
<laughs> Unless know? that's just all caps, like an, an angry reaction, <laughs> rather go. than, you know, typing in a crossword answer this, as we that, do. That's going to shan shan. Craig, Craig, Craig's going to be a lot of fun, I can tell. We may have to get the whole group <laughs> solving together. I love this when our solvers round. are waving to each other, too. Alpine Joy is saying, hi, L Oiler Emmy. Solving Aww. together is just so and, fun, isn't and, it? Isn't uh, it? 21 Lula across. Me said hi to Craig. Cool. Uh, okay, so isn't Josh, it? Joshua Hu agrees with O skiing. And what isn't we'll, it? Isn't it? Oh, 21, 21 across. across. I'm sorry. You're good. I'm still here. I just, I, I have my awful, awfully butchered segues into crossword answers. Okay, so isn't just trying. it is a good synonym for the verbalization. So true, huh? Alpine Joyce says, Sam, you obviously recovered from your Halloween experience. Oh. <laughs> Huffing down candy. Yes. Two weeks ago. Snorting, yes. snorting chocolate. Yes. Uh, for those of you who weren't here, we did a special Halloween episode. A double it was blind about test. An oh, experiment. Oh, please, we we interrupt everything we're talking about with Halloween. Yes. Look who's look who's joined us. Oh. And now, ah. t- tell me who this is. This is That's Poppy. Poppy. Oh, oh, I love Poppy. Poppy's just a baby, and she was scratching at the door, so it was oh, tough. Oh, it's okay. It's time. Solve. It, it's better when you solve together, especially. She must be a good a good crossword pup. girl. That is a very He's good crossword dog. Oh, <laughs> you know what? That's you got to okay. just tell her to start with the Mondays. Exactly. Or the many, you know. It's uh, all good. Now we have a roadside establishment that is blank NN. So that would be CNN, right? Yeah, or ONN, Onion News Network. Right, Onion News Network. That's my. Roadside. That's that's one of my favorite. I'm sorry, one of my favorite sources it, of news. It, I'm supposed to only say it's one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, so it's the ONN or uh, CNN, those are roadsides. Everything's along a road. Or TNN. It, I'm just glad we got in and spas in we today. Did. You know what? You're right. When you're right, you're right. Do, by the way, do you want to go down to uh, 13 down? We have the answer, but that's such oh, a bonkers string of letters, and it threw Craig is, for a loop. That is oh, such a Will yeah. Shorts sort of thing. G. Yes. So. Oh. Yes, we have the clue introduction to geometry. It's that's a my, crossword that's my, clue. That's my rap alias. Okay. Uh, we have a introduction to geometry. It's a question mark clue, uh, which means that it's not going to be exactly as you see it. There's some wordplay involved. When you see lead into, introduction to, the, the clue is always talking about the first letter of the other word, in this case, geometry. And the introduction to geometry is a soft G. And I promise you, Will was laughing to himself when he came up with this well, clue, too. These are the kind of things that amuse Will Short. Exactly. You know, so. Exactly. That and table tennis. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Yeah. Uh, Alpine Joyce has agreed in silent I and silent E. I mean, just last week yeah. we had silent I as character in Friends. Yes, yeah. that was a hard one. It's not Phoebe, y'all. <laughs> Honey604 <laughs> says Poppy is adorable and was an answer in yesterday's puzzle. Oh, we are, yeah. Phoebe. Uh, we have a guess for gap at 36 across, right above who? Fall into when they're right, they're right. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Gap year. Thank goodness there we have go. the G there. That I've helps been taking a, a gap year since about 1980. Mm. Nicole Xavier111 says soft G just like GIF. Oh. Thank you, Nicole. Everybody okay. on the Times Games team says GIF, okay. and they're all yep. wrong. Talk- Politics here, okay? Yes. No. Wait, 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 yes. There's no I'm talk of politics sorry, here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me ask you a question, Shannon. Just between you and me, nobody else. It's not like the internet's listening or anything. How do you say it? Do you say GIF or GIF? I say GIF, oh. but but that's because I, I, I grew up. My dad writes. My dad was a programmer at IBM in the '90s, oh, and wow. they always called it GIF then, and that was before people were using them generally as ways of communication. Okay. And, and because the creator had said that it was GIF, what's really interesting about it is whether or not, you know, society gets to name something or right. the person who creates something named. And I think that's really fascinating. I don't that take is. a stance, but. Language is I, weird. Say Jeff. Words well, are weird. The next time I, you know, get into an argument over this, this is this is just the content I needed. I get to say that it's Jeff because Shannon Woodward said it was Jeff. Oh, so okay. thank you. Well, no, no, no. That, this helps my case. You, you. Not only did Shannon say it, and she's an authority, yeah. but the creator of the word apparently. Well, that's said it was that's Jeff. my normal argument, but now I have a secondary argument. Okay. So I'm very, very happy. My Absolutely. case is rock solid now. Um, Mitch Bot or. Gift, you know? <laughs> he's he's going he's gonna to use that. Tool. I am going to use this. going to get flamed on the subway. 
right. Um, M- Mitch Bot or Mick Bot or Mish says ski crossing the ski answer at 22 down. Skimpy. Ah. Revealing, revealing in a way. In a there way. you go. Now, uh, somebody is asking Peregrine Took said, what would a harder G sound like? A Gif. Hard, g. G. The hard G is G. Yep. The soft G is J. So, which I th- is still wrong, but that's okay. Jo- uh, George E. Heibel says, for 38 down, that's a really funny clue, um, actually. I'm going to say it after we highlight the and clue. And Lou Lermes is has got it, too. <laughs> um, go, go at 38 down on the ah, right here side. here we go. This is fun. Um, Frostbit, question mark. Another yeah. one that I'm sure Will and Joel just laugh to themselves Absolutely. at. Absolutely. Not maniacally. It's just like a dumb chuckle, you know? It's, it's like, <laughs> I just made a dad joke. Right. This is too funny not to use. <laughs> Um, so is that Robert Frost is the key exactly. to figuring this one the out. Frost, key emoji. Frost bit is sort of, gets at fr- the, the phrase frostbite. Right, Shannon? Mm. It yep. sort of sounds like it, but that's not, ex- that's not where this clue is going. Where is it going? Is it cozy? It's poesy, yes, but the frost. Yeah, it's a weird frost, word. It's in a, this case, instead of I've you know referring to something about. cold, is is referring to the poet Robert Frost, and the answer his bit he wrote poems. So the answer is poesy. Poesy is a really weird word. It is. I used I used it in a theme list and got kind of panned for it because they're like, no, everybody just it's says poetry, poetry so yeah. I'm never using poesy again. It's like yeah. <laughs> I just, chips, uh, you're I Bosses, you know, I, I just, yeah. I was like, poesy, all right, that sounds correct. Exactly. This was a hard one. I actually, I needed my older kids' uh, help with this because I'd completely forgotten the name. The nocturnal lemur native to Madagascar. Aye, aye. Aye, aye, sir. Yeah. Absolutely. That's a Thursday clue for aye, aye, if it I've really ever seen is. one. It really is. Yep. And there were people who were saying, ah, yes, to this. Ah, I don't know yes. Where they are. I remember now. I actually don't remember who said I don't the answer either, to I. Yes. I remember Sorry, now. Sorry, y'all. Be, uh, yes. Comments are coming through, and that gives us lies from Honey604 at 51 across. Caustic compounds. Where? You've got it. Thank you, Mishpa. I'm sorry, Mishes where? for Michelle. At 51 across. We oh, got 51 it already. Across. That was we just did. crossing I. Yes. Okay. Just oh, calling out the Caustic solvers. compounds. Yes. Lies are very caustic. You know, safety they first, are. kids. They are. Lies. All lies. Yes. Um, <laughs> Let's go to 40 across, right in the okay. center, because that's a theme answer, right. just to get the Middle gears one. turning. Short-term employer of counselors. Now, the first, what is, what's the first thing you think of when you hear the word counselor, Shannon? Well, I mean, the first thing I think of is summer camp. There you go. But we can't fit that in here. We also need French. Oh, that's right. You know, ete is is summer oh. in French, but it's always in the puzzle. It's, it is it's, it's always, always in the it's puzzle. It's always summer in the New York Times crossword. I imagine uh, that Alex Eaton Saunders, this puzzle's constructor. By the way, this is 27th puzzle for the Times. That's wow. pretty cool. He's prolific. 11th yes. Thursday crossword. Um, I'm sure he had a really difficult time filling this grid because he couldn't use ete elsewhere in the fill. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and Already Alpine Joyce says, poesy is a word we haven't heard air now. Oh. Yes, air is another one. <laughs> it comes up a lot. We're getting Nicole Xavier 111 to comment my favorite emoji, which is the skull and cross- right. crossbones, meaning I'm dead. So good. We're glad we're killing you. That's what these crossword clues do. Honey604 uh, says that behold to Brutus. Now, because we have Brutus there, it's got to be a Latin clue, right? Mm-hmm. A clue in Latin, right? Like. Like Latin. Brutus from, like Latin, but, <laughs> like uh, from uh, Julius, Julius Caesar. Caesar. The word behold is what, Shannon? Ecce? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know if it's ecce or ecce, but we're going we're gonna to type that in. It's, it's like class. it's like bocce. I'm going to just say ecce. Okay. Yeah, E-C-C-E. Yes. That's the fun thing. I like, you know, pretending how to pronounce all these words that show up in our puzzles right. and not really knowing how to say them. Now, here's here's an interesting one. I get credit, uh, Shannon, though. Shannon, when you have an abbreviation in the clue, that means you have to have some sort of abbreviation in the answer. Do you know the fig or figure that might earn you some credits? Uh, I do. It's AP score. Right. Whew. There you go. I don't. I, I never earned any credits. I took AP classes. Never did well enough on the test to earn credits. Okay, so we've got to badmouth somebody. Oh. You're slamming them, Deb. Slam them. Slam them. Take them down, Deb. Try not to. 
try to be standards friendly so I don't get fired. Uh, oh, here's Lord, another Latin. Latin word, Latin 101 word. Now, did you know this one or did you put in AMA and then waited for the crossing, Shannon? Because I, <laughs> I know what I did here. I actually, I went straight for a mod. Did you? Good. Wow. That's You're right. You were playing the odds. Yeah. This is why we say you're an experienced Thursday cross crossword solver. You just really knew the answer. Nice. I was just. I think that was the first one I thought of, and I just. I just put it in. Right. Boom. It could have been uh, a mas because yeah. they're thinking of the the phrase a mo a mas a mat. Yeah. But uh, and you don't really have to be a Latin speaker to know this, right? You you could probably work the crossings and figure it out. Fortunately, yeah. yeah. Well, you have 49 across his reviews collectively. Yep. Oh, man. Writing. Sure. Crit. Yeah. Am I crit. right? <laughs> That's a crit. Yes. Like lit absolutely. crit. Like a lit crit. Been there, done that. Uh, mm -hmm. First name and fragrances. This is a cool one. Nicole Xavier 111's got it. Oh. And so does Honey 604 and others earlier. It is Coco. Exactly. What? Team now, Coco. This is an interesting kind of clue. Whenever they say first name and fragrances, uh, on the surface, it sounds like they're talking about a big name. Is that right, Shannon? But that's yeah. not where it's going. Where's it going? Oh, so, like it. Oh. Yes, they're looking for a literal first name. Right. Right. So this would be Coco for Coco Chanel. And um, so anytime you solve or see first, uh, first name in fragrances, you definitely want to be thinking in terms of given or first names. What else? What have else? We, we have comments on if Latin's still available in high school. I think it wasn't too long ago. <laughs> and a half to answer that question. Yeah, Latin yeah. scholars speak up. Um, right. Joshua Who says, I took it in 2002. So oh, well. perhaps. I think Perhaps. it depends on where you go to school. I mean, I know, I think, I know it's definitely still taught in Catholic schools, but I had a school, but you know, I'm I'm not that young anymore. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've been I'm I'm there with you, but uh, take back re. We can't. There yeah, we can. can. Yeah, we can. Okay, oh. we're sorry. So I'm not allowed to groan at your jokes. No, when I no, run that's away the rule. making awful ones. Fuel economy org or organization. Got the EPA on our hands. Yeah, the EPA there you go, on man. our hands. Yep. You want to go to the last theme answer just to start chewing on it? Oh, right yeah. No. Wait. By all means, that's it. Oh, okay. By all means. <laughs> ah. It's going to start with a French word. Yes, it, it is. is. The French word and. You know, 52 down, prepare for a bodybuilding competition. This is one of my favorite answers. Has anybody <laughs> got this in the chat? Because I can't see it. If somebody's no. got it, I feel like. Oh, we're, we're, we're giving you credit for this one. Right. But, yes, it's oil up. I'm sure exactly. there were some solvers earlier. Uh, the uh, Yeah, that's a fun answer. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we right. basically have to clue it as like the bodybuilding angle every time. Too. I love when people play around with words. Alpine Joy is saying re re a, a clue, a good uh, clue answer pairing for reviews, female authors, books, question mark is chick lit crit. Yeah. Mm. So that's like one of your me. before and after categories on a <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. Uh, or it's lit, crit. A lot of people, people are still talking about what they took in high school, <laughs> whether it was Latin or French. I'm so over high school. Yes. Um, Beehive burglary has got 52 across. Let's throw yes. that in. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, by all oh, means. Oh, excuse me. That is oi, indeed. indeed. Oi, indeed. Oi. That is a... It's two uh, theme answers with double eyes, which is kind of fun. That yeah, is, that's, that's pretty fun. wild. I've ever said, but it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of yes, indeed, it's we, oui, indeed, because we're substituting uh, the French word for the first word. So now that we got all the theme content, we're just all done now, right? Yes, we can walk away from the puzzle. We can walk away and satisfied. We can just ask Garrett to restore our streaks. What should we do, Poppy? Should we should we bring this home? I think we oh. should take it home. Let's let's walk it home, and then it can get a oh, walk. Yeah, oh. they're walkies. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> my heart go. just did a back. It really did. That um. is the cutest dog. Okay, <laughs> so uh, let's see. Bruce Giordano says umami. Oh, taste that's not umami sweet. Umami to you. Sa uh, sour, sour, <laughs> bitter, oh, yeah. taste or that's salty. Not sweet, sour, bitter. Is there or an echo in here? I think there is. Okay. <laughs> 
I like, I like, I shouldn't like answers like this, but 66 across yeah. just always gets me. It's such a, um, you know, the constructing side of things. Yeah. This answer is such a crutch. We um, weren't using this answer like five years ago, and then one person used it, and then and we're like, it's, it's, it's yeah, like dominoes. Um, no, it's just fine. Well, you know, I you have a couple weeks ago, there was a puzzle where I, it was n- the answer was not correct, but I thought the answer was, it's a no. And I laughed. <laughs> hard and then it, yeah. it was not that I don't remember what the real answer was but I was like I need it's a no to be in the puzzle now like it's a no from me yeah, right <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying to work um is that a yes or a no in oh, a puzzle because it's 15 letters too. and it's yeah. like, I, what, I like seven it's words no. We have we have a phrase sort of like that that's coming up. I'm not going to spoil it, but it was uh, it really cracked oh, yeah. me up. Words said in Teaser. a rush. Okay, I that was... hey, there's gold. There, yeah, there I am. Hey. Say it again. I'm late. I'm late. Late. We don't want to um... keep you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Look at this P I A blank. Oh. C L Mason is having a having a heck of a time with um no garbage <laughs> fill. Should I use um no um, um no. no? Okay. C L Mason's an uh, experienced <laughs> constructor it's himself. A no. It's, it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. It's, no it's gonna be us, a no Craig, for me. Dog. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Bruce Giordano's is forty eight down his pianos. Let's look at this. Loved this clue. Oh. Loved this. A key holder is usually somebody, you know, if you're a key, if you own an apartment, you have, you're given the keys and you are now the, legally the key holder. Um, but in this case, we're not looking for that kind of a key. We're looking for something that holds other kinds of keys, and those would be pianos, piano keys. Like that one. Commenter George E. Heibel is here naturally, but the question they're asking, you know, just sounds like a plant for us. Okay. Is this a regular broadcast? Thanks. Yes. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> we are here every Thursday at 1 o'clock Eastern. And uh, fortunately today, we don't always have such a, a wonderful guest like Shannon. I know, Shannon, this is but the we, best we stream. You tuned in to I know, like, we're the having best so stream much, today. I, we're having so much fun. This is having fun. But, uh, this is having fun. Yes, we are here every Thursday. <laughs> so please join us and come solve with us. We we love to uh, we love to play with you guys. So, uh, all right, let's bring this home, Shannon. Give me, you know, home. solve one of these for me. <laughs> solve it. My, my grid is is full now, so I can't see where you guys are at. What else? Okay. What else? Let's hop to 54 down. D-E-F, blank, ah, blank, death, okay. something. All right, now, let me, okay, <laughs> I have to think. I Do you cook, Shannon? I do cook. Okay, tell me when you trim a steak, I don't know if you eat steak, do you defat it? Okay, 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 we get it. <laughs> People don't use this word. I know it's it, it actually yeah. for a while I had it open until I got 52 across I was like is it low fat LO or no fat and yeah. I was like I guess it's D fat right um no um no that's a no from us that's a it's a no but you know what it's fine <laughs> these things happen because in order to make a puzzle with all over interlock meaning every every clue I mean sorry every entry has another word that crosses it you sometimes have to put words like that in I mean it's I I would probably rip back and and take it out if I were being, but sometimes those things can't be helped. Well, not everybody can be as good as good of a constructor oh, as you, Deb. Well, please. That puzzle back in <laughs> April with Natasha Leon. Was... I had a wonderful time. April second, we're hoping, we're go hoping... back in the archives and solve this thing. That's right. It was puzzle. two days before her birthday. Yeah. So, yeah. and uh, her. yeah, uh, we uh, and we have and your birthday's coming up, so we want to wish you a happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, don't yeah. rush no <laughs> trust me we're not rushing I'm, I'm digging my heels and trying to hold it back uh, Beehive Bur- oh I'm sorry oh, I was going to say Beehive Burglary's chiming in saying my third week here I'm recognizing some of you other commenters from other times Aww, fun stuff that's, that's nice. you know just like the community you try and foster you do foster on wordplay everybody Absolutely. just keeps coming back so thank yes. you all this and is you'll great. find that you'll find that the word the people who like to play with words and the crossword community are some of the nicest people you've ever met. Um, we're uh, you know people who love to put words in squares or play around with words are people who are just happy and silly. And yes, we do have we're very fortunate to have some people who come back every even week. well. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yes, he's a lot of fun. Uh, so Will's anyway, an old teddy bear. So, um, Shannon, Marina Del Blank, California. It's Marina Del Rey, you know. Gotta be with that R in place. 
Is that Lana's sister? Yeah. Um, <laughs> anthem alternative. Yes. Anyway, A E blank N blank. Etna. Weird pattern. Right. Etna. Etna. It's be and, Etna. And I like this clue because it's a really sneaky one. If you look at it at first, you might think that people that the clue is talking about a national anthem. Yeah. But they're not. They're talking about the insurance company anthem, anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. And yes, the answer is is Etna. Excellent. Uh, we got J.R. Darius One agrees with Marina Del Rey. Awesome. Honey 604 agrees. Alpine Joe saying hi to honey Beehive says. Burglary. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. And J.R. Darius One also has 71 across in the bottom ah. right. Tough clue. Range, range output. output. Yeah. What can range mean? A range of things. Well, at first I thought maybe we were talking about, you know, land, yes. a range, home, but home on the then range. we kind of, we got Eli Roth in there to start with an H at the bottom, <laughs> and then I realized we're talking about an oven. Yes. yes. The range <laughs> output here would be heat. Mm-hmm. So you have to really, you have to really mull these clues over and think about other things that the words can mean. Sometimes their base meaning is not exactly where you want to go with this. And that's when Will is just cackling because He's, he knows yeah. he got you. Exactly. Um, Daltonia 1987 is here watching from Ireland. Hey. So some of these are a little outside their scope, but it's always fun. You know, if that's you keep great. solving. It'll be less and less outside your scope. We have a lot of European solvers who, who comment on wordplay and read wordplay, and you're welcome to join us anytime. Uh, it's hard because some of the cultural references in American-style crossword puzzles are a little tough for our European and Asian solvers and South American solvers, but uh, you'd be surprised how quickly you pick them up. And We have the same problem when we do British cryptic crosswords. Cryptic. Yeah, yeah, I am awful at cryptic. Do you love cryptic? cryptics as much as I do Shannon I'm I have recently gotten very into the cryptic okay. I get really excited when I open up the Sunday puzzle book and there's a cryptic yes it's I, my new it's my new jam I have an I have an app for that and I will I will send it to you because it's a lot of fun they're like tons and tons of free cryptics and they're on the easy side so you know I yeah I, I fell in love with them a couple of summers ago Okay, so... Uh, I was going to say B truly or BT truly, however you say it. Uh, it says it's 6 a.m. where they are, and they are still tired. Oh, Crosswords will wake you up. Where are you? Exactly. Cool. Solvers it's from all over the world. It's 4 to 11 here, and I'm about to sleep, Nicole oh. Xavier says. Wow. <laughs> where are you, Nicole? Uh, Nicole's in Australia, I think. I don't know. By don't now, remember. Nicole's a regular. Maybe. I should but know But Honey 604 has got Tyson for 70 across. Tyson Neil and Neil deGrasse, you know, the big it's guy. not Mike. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> For Cosmos. He's hosting he, your he, could host, he could host Cosmos, but yes, it is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, to flag, a lot of people on Wordplay didn't get this one, and I they needed to have it explained. Did you get this one, Shannon? Which, which one? I'm sorry. Flag. S- flag for 68 across, four letters, first letter is T. Yeah, I have it here, but it's it's tire. Yeah. T I E. I don't know why. Okay. So to, to me, but I had it oh. from the downs. Look at wow. us. We finished. We did. But finish. I am gonna open it up again and explain it to you, and then we're gonna go through the um, crossword th- theme very quickly. And if uh, it's okay with you, Shannon, we'd like to open it up to a couple of questions for our audience. Is that okay with you? Yeah, no problem. Okay. Cool. If you uh, if you flag, you're t- you, it, you're tiring. You're tired of something. You know when you've when your energy is flagging. So they are actually synonyms. Does that make sense? That's a okay. brutal one. Yeah, that's a that's a hard one. But it that's is tough because you don't even know what if it's in the right t- like what tense or what part of speech the word is. Nope. But all's fair in love and crosswords. So it very is. quickly, we had a revealer that was French open. And what that meant was we were going to take very uh, common phrases like friend request, and we were going to take the opening or the first word and convert it to French. So instead of friend re- request, we've got ami request. Ami being the French word for friend. Instead of water skiing, we've got O skiing, because O is the French word for water. Uh, we've got ete camp instead of summer camp, and we oui indeed instead of yes indeed. And that is Alex Eaton Solner's puzzle for today. I had a great, that, this was terrific. 
This was fun. Yeah. Thank you, Shannon. Absolutely. Uh, you carried us through I, well, the puzzle. We, it, if anybody has a question for Shannon Woodward, please put it in the comments now. We're going to hang out for a little bit, a uh, little while. Shannon, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about what's uh, coming up for Westworld? Are you? Uh, do you know exact? Or just not exactly. Anything. Do you have a uh, sense of when uh, they're going to release the new season? Uh, I know the new season comes out next year right uh yeah they just started doing some promos and stuff for it but um other than that i can't really tell you anything oh, okay mm -hmm. well we will respect Excellent. that um we uh is there anything else you're working on right now that you'd like people to know about Let's see well, we got something i don't know if there's any gamers out here in the puzzle community oh but, there's um, overlap yeah so uh i've been working on this video game called the last of us part two for for about three years, it comes out in May. Oh, um, wow. And so, like, I'm a big gamer, so that's yeah. that's really fun. That's coming out soon, so. That's wonderful. What, what, what genre is it? Um. Well, The Last of Us, so this is the sequel to a game called The Last of Us. It's on PlayStation, mm -hmm. and it's, I would say that this game is the most, like, a novel. Like, it's my favorite game, and I, like, begged my begged and stalked my way into auditioning for it <laughs> forever ago. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, the first game is a lot like a novel. It's, it's, uh, it's really a beautiful story and it's a really fun play. So the oh, train awesome. is out. You, yeah. When did you say it's expected to come out again? May. May. All right. Well, let's go. Hope you all gamers are listening to that. We, uh, we have a lot of people who are up at odd hours of the night and M. Garrett Amini <laughs> says, uh, he has a question for Shannon. What or who got you into crosswords originally? You know, I actually, I started doing it. Well, I wanted to start as a kid because my mother and my grandmother were doing it all the time. And I, I was like, can I help? And they're like, I mean, you can try kiddo. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Yep. There you go. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I started doing it most days of the week you know trying when I was about 16 and so I've been doing it for a long time you know and I would just google answers when I didn't know them and force myself to memorize them and you know that's how I learned so I always Good tell people you. that's for like you. how to do it you did know? you hear that solvers it is yes. totally 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 okay and encouraged to google stuff if you don't know it never heard stuff. of it that's how you learn exactly yeah. so, honey 604 says good to meet you Shannon Aww. uh yeah honey yeah. Nick Nick Dysis is really excited for the game. Says, yeah, zombies. zombies, great game. Sure, good to hear. <laughs> awesome. And uh, Alpine Joy says, I thought it was a great theme. The more languages, the better. Also, tagging at Modern Library on Twitter. Well, yeah, Modern Library on Twitter. Uh, I don't know what that is, but we'll <laughs> have to check it out. Uh, do, if anybody has any more uh, questions for Shannon, uh, we'll take uh, one or two more, and then we're going to uh, bid you adieu until next week. Did you do that because it's a French theme today? Yes. Nice. It's all it's <laughs> so, it's all planned, right? Okay, we indeed, okay. right? Right. Oh, uh, Nicole. Oh, Nic Nicole is, is saying bye to Poppy as well. Or thanks That's to right. Poppy. I'll let her know. <laughs> yes, please do. <laughs> She's and probably excited for a walk. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, anyway, I think that's probably yeah. all the time we have. We don't want to take up any more of your time. But Shannon, we had a ton of fun with you. Thank you so much for joining yes. us. Guys, thanks for having me. Right. I had a blast. This Same. was great. And when does cool. The Last of Us come out? In May. May. Yeah. In May. Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to have to look for that on well. PlayStation. Yeah. Excellent. Let's Excellent. Go. Well, thank you very much again. Uh, happy solving to you. Happy early birthday. Yeah, happy early birthday. And uh, this is it for us this week for Crosswords Live. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we'll see you again next week at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is Deb Amlin and Sam Mazursky for the New York Times saying happy solving. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>